Bring him from the yard. This is Don the Diecast Pirate, and today I have for you something I think is going to be really fun. Now, as I was a fan before I started making videos and building the cars to make the videos from uh, for you guys, there's quite a few uh, channels that I watch and people that I was subscribed to. Um, didn't really follow the whole community, you know, because as a fan, I. I, when I watch a video, I want to watch the whole video, you know. Uh, didn't have time to watch everybody's. So, basically what I did is, you know, there was a few. And one of them that I really enjoy because it was so different from everything else. And, and this guy is a wonderful guy. And he's taught me so much watching his videos about detailing cars and the funny little cars that he builds and everything and so this video is going to be kind of a nod to Jim Silva okay now let's get this bone shaker out of the package okay I was never gonna do a bone shaker. I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't like them. And Jim's used them in a lot of stuff. He's done some different things with them. And so let's get this thing up on the turntable. And uh, we'll talk about this for a second. So this is one of the art cars in I had to go looking for this on eBay because I couldn't find bone shakers in the store. Believe it or not, you can buy lots of these on eBay for like, that have like hundreds of cars. And like, no. Nah. I just bought a couple. But this one in particular. Okay. So I'm not going to do, I'm not going to talk too much about what I'm going to do to this. I'm just going to do it. Okay. And ba my basic premise of this is, you know, you, you'll hear a phrase, you know, when somebody does good things or does something amazing and you're going to do something similar, you would say, well, what would this person do? Okay, so as I'm going to build this bone shaker and I think of the person, the, the real reason why I have this car, Jim Silva, and what he's done with bone shakers. And when I look at this and I think, what would Jim Silva do? We're not gonna do that. So let me get this thing taken apart and I'll get back with you. All right, so I got this thing drilled apart and my cat's being noisy. He needs to stop meowing at my daughter's bedroom door. He doesn't need to be in there. Let's just take this apart. Okay, so we have the base with the blue wheels. And the first question we have to ask ourselves is what would Jim Silva do? Jim Silva would take these wheels and get rid of them. So because Jim Silva would get rid of these wheels, we're going to keep them. The other thing Jim Silva might do is he might strip the chrome off of this and do different things with this interior and the skull in the front and things like that. So the second thing we're going to do is just keep this just the way it is. And the third thing that Jim Silva would do is he would strip and paint this and maybe do some modifications to it and get out the Dremel tool and some JB weld and do all kinds of cool things to that. We're not gonna do all that. What we're gonna do actually is I will strip this down, maybe. Maybe we'll just scuff it up. And I'll tell you one thing that we're gonna do that Jim Silva wouldn't do because you know, Jim Silva would do something different. So what we're gonna do is do this is we're gonna paint this to Mia what looks like a bubblegum pink to celebrate spring. <laughs> so everything that Jim Silva would do, we're not going to do. Oh, I also forgot to mention that Jim Silva would tap the posts and put screws in them. And we're not going to do that.
Well, all right, so I went ahead and threw this thing in the awesome sauce. <laughs> Since I had a few other cars in there. And yeah, I'll put a picture up in the video so you can see how it was hanging out in there. And then, you know, Jim Silva, you know, he would probably would strip the old paint off, but I figured, hey, you know, I'm already getting the sauce out. I might as well throw it in there. So I did. And then, you know, Jim Silva would put primer on his cars. And you know what? I didn't. I just sprayed the paint right on there. And, you know, Jim Silva would get a smooth finish on his paint. And it would be super, you know, shiny and everything and have good coverage. And, you know, we just threw paint on there. You know, because in this build, you know, we're not going to do what Jim Silva would do. All right. So let me put this thing back together and then we'll come back for the reveal. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you a bone shaker. With a nod to Jim Silva and bubblegum pink from Tamiya. Rocking those blue Mattel wheels and the yellow base and nothing done to the chrome. Let's put it on the turntable and see what we got. So here you have it. We drilled it apart, took the body, stripped it, threw paint on it, set the body back on it. And now you're probably thinking he's lost his mind. And I say to you, April Fools. What I've been doing while you've been busy watching me building this is, ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you a recreation of my greatest build. And you say, oh, that's the same car. And I say to you, it is not. This one's not perfect. I didn't get full coverage on the base. This body has flaws in the casting on the front corners. There was a mark in the paint on the side, or on the body, that shows through the paint. I wanted something to put in my collection that will remind me of the first car that I'm giving to one of you. So whenever I look at this, I can remember this moment. I did some things on this one that I didn't do on the other one that I was thinking about. I marked in the mirrors, the door handles, the gear shifter, the seat belts are silver instead of red. Put a dab on the gear shifter and touch that thing on the dashboard. Also detailed in the base more than I did this one. I don't think in my opinion that a car should be done exactly the same as another one I wanted something that was a tribute and I worked on this in my spare time and put it together over the last two weeks for today this right here watching you Jim Silva detail your cars I learned this from you happy April Fool's Day everyone just get shots of them up on the turntable so you guys can see them both together as I'm going to be packing this one up and shipping it over to the UK to see them sealed models with my gratitude to all of you thank you for supporting me thank you for watching thank you for clicking the like button leaving your wonderful comments and sharing my channel on social media don't forget I'm on Instagram and now I have a Patreon for those who wish to support the channel. As always, this is Don the Diecast Pirate, and I will see you next time.